Hey, what up, YouTube? Steam Sparks here, and I'm um, doing a quick little update video for the Huey Hawaii Fusion blah 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 for AT&T. So, the little updating on my phone uh, on the uh, software. Sorry, this camera really sucks with focusing, but and it seems overly bright for some odd reason. That's as dark as I can get it, but so um. Here's the home screen. I use Go Launcher EX for my home screen, which will allow the um, rotation thing like that. And um, there's a new little thing feature with this bottom bar where you can keep your um, apps and shortcuts, which now rotates to the most used or most recently used, which is pretty cool. So um, the main video, main reason I'm making this video is to show you guys how to open files and applications, um, not applications, but files and, um, yeah, pretty much just files, I guess. Um, so you can open pretty much anything, um, flash games, flash videos, images, videos, pictures, pretty much almost any file that the phone can normally open or would recognize. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate on how to do that. So when you go into your web browser, you type in file these dots to the left and then three slashes I don't know what these things are called and I really don't care so don't leave any comments saying what it is because I don't care um, then you put the three slashes then you put the um, location of the file which is would be SD card and then slash and the folder it's in is, would be DCIM for pictures and then slash camera slash and then my file name I type in which will be whatever you want to name it and then once you enter the um, all the uh, text up top that's what it should look like and then you hit enter and there you go this is on the web browser so as you can see uh, this will work for almost any file I don't have anything that would be uh, considered royalty free so I'm not allowed to show any flash animations or have any music or anything that's copywritten but this picture is mine since I took it so it's my copyright so um, yeah that's pretty much one little tip trick thing that you can do with an Android that um, <laughs> you can't do on an Apple. Um, so yeah, this is um, the AT&T Fusion, and I have this rooted. Um, I also have a custom firmware running ZAD 1.5, and I have it flashed, um, and I also have a flash player on it. So if you guys ever need any help with anything, or if you need the flash player, or if you want to root it, just message me. Private message, please. Don't keep sending out uh, your email addresses for everyone to um, see and spam you. That's for your own safety. If you choose to do so, then that's your problem. But, um, yeah, if you guys ever want any help with anything, with rooting it, or flashing it, or getting the flash player on it, just send me a message. It's a very cool phone, very nice camera's pretty decent, the touch screen's pretty responsive, and as you can see, uh, my phone's almost dead, it's on 10. But, um, yeah. Let's see if I can go over anything else real fast that I'm forgetting. I have tons of apps. So, yeah. Um, other than that, the Go Launcher EX, I would say, is, um, the best home screen app due to its, um, features. Let's see if I do that. There we go. I think that's pretty cool too. You can arrange um, all your icons and it also does rotate to the side, which is also pretty cool in my opinion, but I don't really use it that often. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and um, yeah, thanks for watching guys.